Our story begins at the outskirts of Jellyfish Fields, where it was a nice sunny day. Hi. It is such a lovely day to be outside watching the clouds roll by here at Jellyfish Fields, isn't it, Patrick? Oh, you bet, SpongeBob. The clouds are so beautiful, I can't keep my eyes off the sky. I can't keep my eyes off the skies either. I mean, look how legit those clouds look. They look like flowers. Oh, uh, they always look like flowers, SpongeBob. All the time. Uh, yes, Patrick, I've known that. Well, at least on the bright side, we're going to be staying here in Jellyfish Fields all day until the sun goes down. Yup, and we can even watch the sunset go by. You know what, Patrick? This might be our best day ever. I agree, SpongeBob. I definitely agree with you. Uh oh, SpongeBob, that must be your cell phone ringing again. But who could be calling me at a day like this? We're supposed to be out here relaxing. Well, I think you should answer to see who it is. Fine, Patrick, I'll go ahead and answer the phone to see who it is. Um, hello? Hey, SpongeBob. <sighs> hey, Sandy, what the heck do you want? Um, where are you at? Um, I'm at Jellyfish Fields with Patrick watching the clouds and you just interrupted our nice time. Well, I need you and Patrick to come to my house immediately. What do you want? I'll tell you when you get there. Sandy, I don't have time to play your games. Can you just tell me what it is? No, it's, it's a surprise. <sighs> Fine, we'll be over there shortly. Alright, see you there. Alright, bye. It was funny, but who was on the phone? <sighs> it was Sandy. She wanted us to report to her house immediately. Uh, why? I don't know. She said she'll tell us when we get there. Well, I think we should go over there and, and see what it is. <sighs> Patrick, I really want to be out here watching the clouds. I know, but Sandy's our friend and we really need to be respectful for her. Yeah, I think you're right, Patrick. I think we could watch the clouds some other time. Alright, Patrick, let's go to her house right now. SpongeBob, Patrick, you guys made it. Yes, Sandy, we finally made it to your house. Good, because I got a really important presentation for you guys. A presentation? What is this, school? Patrick, it's really important. Oh, alright. Uh, sorry to cut in. Ooh, a presentation. That sounds like interesting. Well, step inside. Why, most definitely. Alright, since you two guys are perfectly seated into your chairs, I think we should begin the presentation. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what it is. Is it like a movie? Uh, Patrick, a presentation is a movie. Oh, okay. Alright, boys, no more interruptions. It's time for us to start. Oh, alright. Uh, we have all of our ears on you. Okay, since I got your boys' uninvited attention, we shall begin. So today, NASA and I had agreed to send two boys up into space. What? What are we going to space for? I mean, is it like a space mission or something? If you let me continue, I'll tell you guys why you guys are going to space. Yeah, Patrick, shut up. Hey, don't tell me to shut up. Patrick, I'm not going to get into a fight with you. Just listen to Sandy so we can perfectly end this presentation. Okay, the reason why NASA and I are sending you two up into space is because we never had any sea creatures who visited space before. And I want you boys to go up all the way up to space and orbit around all eight of our planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Hey, what about Pluto? Don't forget about Pluto. My god, Patrick, Pluto's not a planet. It is a planet, SpongeBob. Did you go to school? Well, it used to be a planet, but in 2006, NASA confirmed it was too small to be a planet. Well, SpongeBob's right, Patrick. Hey, but that's not fair. I like Pluto. He's my favorite planet. Well, I'm sorry to keep your hopes down, Patrick. Pluto ain't a planet anymore. Sandy, you can continue reading the presentation. I'm sorry that Patrick kept interrupting it. Why, thank you, SpongeBob. I can't believe Pluto's not a planet anymore. Well, since I was interrupted by Patrick, I'll be happy to continue the presentation. While you guys are up in space orbiting the planets, you guys will be taking pictures and taking documents. Ooh, so you tell me you can take a picture of the planet and write down what it looks like? That's what I mean, SpongeBob. And that ends our presentation. <gasps> wow, Sandy, that sounds like a really fun trip. Wait a minute, I've got one more question. What is it, Patrick? What's orbit? Really, Patrick? You're gonna waste all of our time just asking that one simple question? Well, I don't know what orbit means. It basically you mean you're going around the planet, meaning you're flying around it. Oh. I didn't know that. No need to get mad at me, sir. Well, Patrick, this is why she kept yelling at you. It's been as you interrupted half of the presentation. Well, I wanted to ask her questions. You're supposed to wait till the end of the presentation to ask questions, not during it. Well, I didn't know that, SpongeBob. I, I sucked at listening in school. Well, maybe you listen to your peers more often. All right, I think I agree with you. Good. Now, since your presentation is over with, I can show you guys where your spacecraft's at. Ooh, we're going to be riding in a spacecraft. That sounds interesting. That's right, SpongeBob. Are you guys ready to see where it is? Oh, yeah, I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to see it, too. All right, follow me. Well, guys, here's the space station. There's your spacecraft. <gasps> Holy sea snakes. That's our spacecraft. That's right. It's called the Space Shuttle 5000. Ooh, the Space Shuttle 5000? That looks cool. Well, Sandy, I think we're ready to go ahead and get on that spacecraft. Well, that's great. Well, who's going to ride it? Well, 
I think I should write the spacecraft. <laughs> oh, no way, Patrick. There's no way you're riding on that spacecraft. Why can I ride it? It's because they're stupid and you're dumb. They probably don't know how to control it. Whoa, you better watch what you're saying to me, SpongeBob. I think I should ride it. I should ride it. No, I should ride it. I should ride it. Look, will you just stop your little arguing because I really don't want to hear it. Sorry, Sandy, but we're just trying to figure out who could be riding the spacecraft. I know. Rock, paper, scissors. Winner gets to ride the spacecraft. Sandy, you must be onto something. Alright, Patrick, ready to play a game of rock, paper, scissors to see who becomes the spacecraft rider? Oh, you bet. I'm the win. No, I'm gonna win because I'm the master at this game. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot! Ha! Paper covers rock. I win, Patrick. <gasps> I can't believe you won. Fine, the deal is in. You take the spacecraft, never dare to try with me again. Alright boys, I think it's time for you guys to get on that spacecraft now. Yes, Sandy, we are the most likely happy. Whoa, Patrick, this cockpit feels amazing! I know! I can see from everything from over here! Alright guys, since you guys are successfully stuffed inside the cockpit now, I can finally go inside the space station and launch you guys off to space. Okay, Sandy, we'll see you when you get there. Yup, we'll see you when you get there. Alright, Spongebob, Patrick, are you guys ready for me to launch you guys off into space now? Sure thing, Sandy. Patrick and I are ready. Hurry up, Sandy, launch us up to space. I want to see Pluto. Patrick, Pluto is not a planet. Oh, sorry. Alright, time to launch in the countdown now. Oh boy, I can't wait. Alright, prepare and launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off. Patrick, I never flew this high before! I know! I feel like I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> oh. Patrick, calm down! Huh? Where are we? We're in space now, Patrick. We're in space. I can see the skies and the galaxies. So what, you mean we're in space now? Yes, Patrick, that's what I just said. We're in space! And we just flew past the Earth. Well, that's lovely! I mean, look at the galaxies and whatnot. Naturally, this is the perfect time we can take a picture of the Earth. So we can write a document about it. Oh yeah, I forgot. We're supposed to orbit around all eight planets of our solar system. But, is Earth the first planet? No, Patrick, Earth is the third planet. Then what's the first planet? Mercury. Oh, but, do we have to go to Mercury first? Well, since we're here in Earth, we might as well take a picture of Earth first, then we'll go to Mercury. Oh, okay. Well, pull out your camera. And look, Patrick, on the bright side, this camera has full batteries. Oh, good. Alright, now I need to leave the cockpit, stand on top of the rocket ship, take a picture of the Earth, and then you write down what it looks like. Oh, alright. Well, be safe out there. Thank you. Wow, the Earth looks a lot beautiful in person. Well, oh boy, I can't wait to take a picture of this planet. Alright, say cheese, Mr. Earth. Hey, Patrick, good news, I got the picture of the Earth. Oh, boy, good job. Can I see it? Sure thing. Wow, SpongeBob, that's an awesome snapshot of the Earth. I know, Patrick, it looks really beautiful. Well, that's one planet down, Patrick. Only seven more to go. Oh boy, what's the next planet? Well, since we took a picture of the Earth, we might as well go backwards and take a picture of Venus, the second planet of our solar system. Wait, why are we going backwards? Are we supposed to be going forward? It's Patrick, we're supposed to take pictures of all eight planets of our solar system. There's no need to go take a picture of Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, then Neptune. We have to go backwards, we have to go to Venus. Oh, alright, I think we might as well take a picture of Venus next. Well, that's where we're about to go. Alright, go ahead and start steering that spaceship to Venus. Good point there. Well, this is Venus, Patrick. Ooh, Venus. It's orange. That's my favorite color. Yep, orange is a pretty sexy color, Patrick. Now it's time for me to take a picture of Venus, then we can finally go to Mercury. <gasps> oh, Mercury. How far is Mercury? Um, only three and a half minutes away from Venus. Oh, okay. Here we are, Patrick. The very first planet, Mercury. <gasps> Mercury looks even better than Venus. It's brown. Yeah, brown. Only ten more seconds away, and we'll be heading to Mercury. I can't wait to see what it looks like in person. Uh, 
Facebook? Uh, yes, Patrick, what's the matter? Uh, do you have a feeling that a giant boulder or a rock up in space that's gonna fall and crash on us at any moment? Uh, why would you say something like that? Because the temperatures are inside this rocket ship starting to fuel up. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel some heat too. Uh, SpongeBob, may I ask you one question? What in the f is that giant rock thing? Oh no, Patrick, I know what it is, the giant meteorite! A meteorite? What is it? It's a giant ball of rock that flies in space. It's gonna crash into the rocket. Well, you might as well turn away so it won't face us. Holy fish, space is coming towards! Oh no, the joysticks aren't working, Patrick! What do you mean the joysticks aren't working? I'm tilting it, but it won't turn! Oh, uh, don't it say to give us the wrong spacecraft, I believe! Oh, they're gonna die! Now the meteorite struck the spacecraft, and we're spinning out of control! Oh, I never felt this dizzy in my life! I think I- Oh my goodness! It looks like we're about to crash land on the moon, Patrick! The moon? We're supposed to be orbiting the planet, not visiting the moon! SpongeBob, the camera broke during the collision. <gasps> Not the camera. That was our only hope. I think we're done, SpongeBob. I think we're done. No. story begins where we left off, where Spongebob and Patrick crash-landed on the moon while they were out orbiting the planets of space. So, Spongebob, are we just going to stand here and do nothing, or are we going to figure out a way how to escape from the moon? Uh, hello? Spongebob, are you listening to me? Patrick, just shut up. There's nothing we can do but stand here and do nothing. Uh, no, there's, there is something we can do. We can check the back of the spacecraft to see if there's any supplies that we can use to help call Sandy to, to come down here and get us. How, she'll, she'll never know that we're down here. Uh, yeah. She thinks we're orbiting the planets, not stranded on the moon. Well, that's a good thing. We can go in the back and find stuff. Well, there's nothing to find back there. This is why we don't get along sometimes. You always think out the negatives. Just pick the negatives out of the way and put in the positives. There's nothing positive to talk about, Patrick. There's nothing we can do out here but stand here and be stranded forever. See? Then you go again thinking the negatives again. I'm going back there to see if I can find stuff. Okay, good luck with that. And if you come back not finding anything, I won't feel sorry for you. Oh, you will feel sorry for me if I find something. Well, 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 look what I found behind the spacecraft. A toolbox full of supplies. See, I tell you, Spongebob don't know what he's talking about. Now it's time for him to prove him wrong. Hiya, Spongebob. I'm back. <gasps> Patrick, what is that in your hand? A toolbox full of supplies? Where'd you find that from? Uh, let me guess. Behind the spacecraft? Oh my god, I feel so stupid. See? This is why you should always think the positives, not the negatives. Look, Patrick, I'm very sorry for yelling at you. Uh, will you forgive me? Yeah, I'll forgive you. Now let's see what's inside this toolbox. Wow, check out all the stuff that was inside the toolbox, Patrick. A walkie-talkie, a hoverboard, and two of these guns. Wow, that's pretty cool. But I think we should use the walkie-talkie first. Yeah, because we need to call Sandy to let her know that what happened. Um, why don't you tell her? Oh, okay. Alright, let's make sure the walkie-talkie works. Oh, okay, it works perfectly fine. Alright. Hello, Sandy, um, come in. Um, yes, yeah, this is Patrick. Um, we got some serious... News on our hand. Okay, Patrick, what's going on? Uh, Spongebob and I are kind of stranded on the moon. What? Stranded on? Why are you guys at the moon for? Well, we were out exploring the planets orbiting through it. So far, we only took pictures of the Earth and Venus, and we were about to go to Mercury until a giant meteorite struck into our spacecraft and we crash landed on the moon. And this is all your fault, Sandy! All your fault! 
A, I don't want you yelling at me through the walkie-talkie, and B, I'll be happy to come down there and get you fellas. I don't care, Sandy. I don't care what you do. If this man never took us out on this mission, we would have been sticking to this situation. Patrick, give me the walkie-talkie. No, SpongeBob. I'm yelling at Sandy right now. That's the problem. You're yelling at her. You didn't talk to her like you have some sense. Give me the walkie-talkie before you break it. Fine. I want to hear how you can handle it. Yo, Sandy, are you still in the walkie-talkie? Yes, I'm still here. Well, look, I'm very sorry for Patrick screaming out of top of his voice. It's not your fault. I really was glad that you provided me this mission. We just end up getting into a tough time. Nah, that's okay, SpongeBob. I'll be there in a few hours. I just need to get everything ready. Oh, all right. I guess I'll see you there. All right. See you later. All right. Now that's how you talk to someone through the walkie-talkie, Patrick, not screaming your head off. Oh, so you on Sandy's side now? Yes, I'm on her side. You know what? Give me that walkie-talkie. <laughs> Patrick, why the frick would you throw the walkie-talkie like that? This you were on Sandy's side the whole time, weren't you? You know that was our only hope for communication with her. Well, too bad. Is there any strain on the moon? Forever. Ugh, Patrick, I just wanna freaking kill you! Ugh, you son of a biscuit, get over here! I like that, Patrick! You stupid little son of a biscuit, get over here! Ugh, stop attacking me, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry for breaking the walkie-talkie, and I'm sorry for screaming at Sandy! I'm sorry! Well, that's good to hear, Patrick. Now, now let's shake on it. Uh, SpongeBob, there's a herd of aliens behind you! Hey, there's no such thing as aliens. No! I'm serious! Oh, oh my god! What are you two weirdos doing on our planet? Planet? This is not a planet, this is the moon! This is a planet, you idiots. You landed on the wrong planet. Look, Mr. Alien King, you got this all misunderstood. This is the moon. A moon is not a planet. This is our planet. This is planet alien. And anybody who visits our planet, who is not our type, deserves to be treated punished. And look what you guys did. Crashing the spaceship on our planet. That's it. You guys are going to be held prison. Wait, what? We can explode? <laughs> well, looks like you two will learn that we learn to never land onto an alien planet if you're not one of their ancestors. <gasps> you are evil and you are a disgrace. <laughs> Okay, I got my- <laughs> Alright, you creepy alien people, what are you planning to do to us? Well, since you came to our planet, we are going to hypnotize you. For what? This is not a planet for the last time, this is the moon! This is our planet, you idiot! Well, you know what, Mr. Alien King? Your hypnotizing invasion will end pretty soon, because our friend is going to come down here and get us. Your friend? Oh, what your friend looks like. She's a squirrel. A squirrel? Ugh, those are disgusting mammals. I wish you would say that to her, because she will send you guys all the way back to Texas, where she's from. I don't know what Texas is. I don't know any of that filth. All I know that is we're going to hypnotize you for invading our peaceful planet. Now let the invasion begin! Oh yeah, I want to see you try it. Uh-oh, his scepter is electrocuting. Oh no, he's gonna zap us with, with hypnotization! We can't let that happen, Patrick, or else we'll be hypnotized freaks forever! <laughs> oh my goodness, Patrick, Sandy's here to save us! Yay! Now we're safe and sound! Look, fellas, we got another invader! Who are you and where you're from? The name's Sandy, I'm from Bikini Bottom, and I suggest you better let my friends go right now. Or else what? You can't do anything. Look at you. Your body strength ain't that powerful. Hmm, I suggest you take that back. Ha. Huh. Or else what? You can't do anything. Ha. <laughs> ha. We might as well keep you invading too. I wouldn't play games if I were you, alien. Oh my goodness, she has an alien zapper, so she really is a plane. Now I suggest you guys better let my friends go or else you guys won't get hurt. Uh, uh, never! Never! <laughs> God, you shot me body off! You psychopath! Oh, I ain't the psychopath your little alien friends are. Now you better suggest you let my friends go or else I'm gonna shoot your friends next. <laughs> Fine. We'll get out of your hair if you leave our planet. 
We'll leave as soon as you let my friends go. Fine. You win. And by the way, this is the moon, not the planet. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Tell him. God, this is so embarrassing. Got my body shot off from a squirrel. Ugh. Wow, thank you, Mr. Alien King, for setting this free. Yeah, thank you. You're not welcome, and you'll regret this. Now get out of me, planet. It's the moon, not a planet. Whatever. All right, alien troop. Let's go and find me a new body, or else I will die in decade. I hate you all. Well, I think that's the end of the Alien Empire here on the moon. Sandy, we don't know how much to thank you for saving us, or else we're gonna end up being stuck here forever. Yeah, and we're really sorry that we failed the mission. Uh, that's alright, you guys. It really wasn't that important anyways. While you were out there in space, I talked to NASA while you guys were out there, and I told him that it was all just a misunderstood. Oh, so this was just a fraud or something? Uh, yeah. Well, at least I had some fun, though. But I got another question. Since our spacecraft is destroyed, how are we gonna get out of here? Don't worry, boys. I'll take care of it. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'll just use my squirrel magic, and I'll fix the rocket ship in no time. Squirrel magic? Are you making it up? No, Patrick, it's real. Oh, well, go ahead and start using your squirrel magic and see what happens. Wow, it looks good as new. Yay, good job, Sandy. Now we can finally get out of the moon and go back home to Bikini Bottom where he's supposed to be. Who's gonna fly? Um, I'll let you fly, Sandy, since you were the one who owned the ship. Why, thank you, SpongeBob. Uh, no problem. Now let's get the heck on out of here before I get moonsick. Heh, <laughs> get it? Moonsick? You're not funny, SpongeBob. Now, okay, is everybody seated with their seatbelts buckled? Yep, Sandy, I got mine buckled. Mine's too. Alright, now let's get on out of here. Now this is what I call a sweet victory ride. So, so I'm Patrick, I got some good news for you guys. What is it, Sandy? What's the good news? Well, since you guys successfully went to outer space and at least took a few pictures of the planet, you guys get a trophy. <gasps> a trophy? For what? For being brave, not giving up, and at least trying. Sandy, that's awesome! That's nice! Thank you! Who, get, who sent it to you? Uh, NASA? NASA is awesome! Pluto's a planet, too! Patrick, for the last time, Pluto is not a planet! Oh, calm down, Spud. I was just joking. I know already. Oh. Well, Patrick, this trophy goes to you, me, and Sandy for being the best welling friends in Bikini Bottom. Yes, SpongeBob. That's very nice to share it along with Sandy, too. Yep, Sandy deserves the trophy, too. Why, thank you. That's really nice. And now we can all finally go to Joystick Field for an encore. Yup, and we are the best Space Rangers in Bikini Bottom. Space Rangers, let's take our marks. We are the Trophy Masters! Ahaha! <laughs>